Hey, what's up? It's Blake. We're going thrifting today. We're going to find some things to resell on the internet to make some money, then back to my warehouse to ship a few sales from the weekend out. Let's go. Okay, here's what I've got so far. This kid's toy and uh, just some computer games, old vintage computer games, a new and packaged CD, uh, and some books. Really not much at all. Um, it's Monday morning, just opened up. And usually around here, they clean the shelves for the first, like, two or three hours on Monday, so they haven't put anything new out um, since last Friday. I'd say it's a bust. Uh, I spent like six dollars. Mostly it's a waste of time. You know, coming in so early on Mondays is not the best strategy in my area. Maybe for you it is, but for me, you know, I'm just kind of, every once in a while I come in and change my schedule up to make sure I'm not missing out on anything big. And sure enough, you know, Monday mornings here are pretty dull. Second stop's a Goodwill. Let's see if we have any more luck. Man, the stores are dry. I got one thing, a Magellan 2036 Roadmaster. It's like a GPS, you're thinking, who uses these? I don't know who uses them. They've got Puerto Rico and uh, Canada's maps installed, pre-installed. Uh, I assume like, if you're somewhere without cell service, you want this. So, you know, I bought it for four bucks. I rounded up here, you, that's like a roundup for charity thing. So I paid five bucks total for everything. It'll sell for 35 bucks on Amazon. I'll get probably, you know, 25 bucks out of that, making uh, 20 bucks profit. So again, I'm, um, <laughs> sorry, nothing good, nothing good. What do you think? Am I wasting my time? If two stores are bad, are they all gonna be bad? I don't know. I mean, they're not like connected, so shouldn't be, but I get a feeling I'll walk in there and walk out in about 10 minutes. Okay, voiceover time. So a huge wall of electronics. Unfortunately, almost all of these are just like old DVD players or giant Blu-ray players. Not, not very good. These two, however, are very good. Toshiba DVD VCR combo and the JVC Hi-Fi Stereo VCR. I'm gonna FBA both of those, plus a slew of VCRs. Now, I looked a bunch of these up. Not all of them are good. Uh, I'm looking for brands like Sony. This calculator here is way overpriced, but the remotes are like three, four bucks. Uh, if I see like Kenwood or Sony or TIAC or really like high, high name brands, then I will always look it up because I've sold remotes for like 60 bucks. You, know, you guys know that, right? 60 bucks for remotes is not crazy. It doesn't sell every day. Uh, but it's certainly the kind of thing you can count on selling like, I don't know, once a month, maybe. I also saw some cool hockey cards. Now, I checked these out. There were a few in top loaders. They wanted like 15 bucks for each of these bags, and they're just like early 90s cards. If you can get like mid-80s hockey cards, that's beginning to be a bit more valuable. But these cards were mass-produced. Nothing there is worth that much. Uh, they're in pretty bad shape, so I left them on the shelf for a uh, maybe, you know, like a, a real hardcore collector. How about that, huh? You know, I was like, oh yeah, it's gonna be totally a waste of time. Go in there and these uh, these two, well this is a VCR. That's a VCR DVD combo. I paid about 20 bucks for the two of these and I'll probably get like gross revenue, 300 bucks, maybe more. I think I'm gonna FBA both of these because uh, they're very low sales rank. So that's pretty good. I also bought this Kenwood remote. Uh, I'll FBA this, RC-R0505. Uh, I'll get about 50 bucks for it, believe it or not. Remotes, they sell sometimes. I know it's crazy, but they do. Kind of lost track of how many stores it's been. I don't know, four? Maybe we'll do one more, two more, three more. I'm hungry as well. So I'm getting a little bit, uh, I don't know, not irritated, but my patience at all these bad stores is running thin. I'm always looking out for Nike golf clubs. This is a Nike women's three wood. It'll go for about 80 bucks, 90 bucks probably. I paid up $10. That's a bit more than I want to pay for this, but it's going to sell relatively fast. It's middle of summer and uh, the club head is in fine condition. Women's club, so maybe a bit slower, but still a great buy. I should probably complain before every thrift store because I got some pretty good stuff, some electronics that'll sell pretty fast. Uh, that handheld free sale should be good. And then the golf club, it's a women's three wood Nike. Uh, they're, they don't make golf clubs anymore and they're kind of like in demand. Um, so it should go for about 80, 90 bucks probably um, with free shipping. 
Uh, it'll probably cost like eight bucks to ship. I paid $9.99 for it here, kind of expensive, but still like, you know, 60 bucks profit after fees is not bad at all. All right, so you know the deal? Oh, boo-hoo, everything sucks. So now I complained and there's gonna be good stuff in there, right? That's how, that's how this works. So I'm just kidding. Not bad. Here's what we got. Some more electronics. Uh, this is interesting, right? So autopilot talking road navigator, similar to the, uh, to the um, Magellan. This had no active listings anywhere. And I saw it had like 10 positive reviews on Amazon, but like a really high sales rank. So it's kind of a, kind of a, uh, what's the word for a, for a mystery? Kind of an enigma. That's the word I'm looking for. Uh, it was only, it was four bucks, half off, so two bucks. I'm gonna list it at 50 bucks, see if it bites, if not, whatever, you know, that's the cost of learning, I guess. Okay, we're back at the warehouse and I wanted to go over a few things that sold today. Normally I do shipping on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, but I was gone all last week. So I did all of my last week shipping on Sunday. So this is all just like, with the exception of, uh, I guess these cards and these golf clubs, these sales all occurred today, um, mostly on Amazon. Let's just go from right up here. This is 105 grams of sterling silver jewelry. I sold it for about 60 bucks. Uh, it's not pure sterling silver. It's got like gemstones and enamel on there. So I was hoping to get like maybe 90 bucks out of this. If I would have scrapped it, I would have got about the same I got from uh, the eBay auction. So kind of a loss, but whatever. Just uh, onward and upward. Second is this book, The Giving Tree. This actually went to uh, someone I know, a viewer, and they asked me to autograph it. And I'm, <laughs> I don't want to because I think, I didn't write the book, I'm not Shel Silverstein, uh, but I don't know if, the, I'm gonna, I'll talk to them later about that. Then this uh, Panini Contenders uh, blaster box, 20 bucks at Walmart, I bought in about March. It sold for 60 bucks on eBay, and it was a promoted listing. And as I do this, I guess I'll pop up the, um, the exact price. I could be wrong on a few of these things. This is nine bucks, I'm pretty sure. Uh, this is crazy, so these two things right here, this wacky alarm clock and this <laughs> pocket computer business organizer scheduling system of boss uh this has been listed for like three or four years and this has been listed for like a year and so you know i don't have more than one of these things the way my business works i have a lot of things like this that maybe only one sells every like two years but i got i think 79 bucks for this and 72 bucks for this. So very rare items, you know, one-off items that I'm not gonna sell again, probably ever in my life. Uh, but I got, you know, profit-wise, I, I bet I paid, was there, yeah, I paid four bucks for this, and I there's no way I paid more than four bucks for this either. Um, and it makes funny noise, it's, it's a wacky wake up. Then uh, this DVD player, I paid 10 bucks for it. Why the shit did I pay 10 bucks for a DVD player? Because it's uh, E360ZA. I don't know if you can see that. And that means that it's, um, it's I believe it's regionless. It's a regionless uh, DVD player, which means they can play like UK DVDs or whatever they are. Uh, and I sold this for 150 bucks on Amazon. Now it took, again, like a year to sell, uh, but just like rare stuff like that, you know, I, I don't, I probably will, so I do sell this many things a day usually, but they're not always like big things like this. Um, these three things here kind of definitely surprised me that they all sold in the same day uh, because we're looking at 150, at about 300 bucks, in, you know, gross revenue out of these three items. Uh, next up, these two golf clubs. These are going to the same customer. And the way I package these is I, I, I have a bubble uh, mailer six by nine. I closed it, cut it in two, and we're gonna put it over the head of the club so there's no, they don't, they don't bang together. And then this is a, uh, I think they're six by six by 50 boxes right there. I have one. Sorry, you're seeing how messy it is here. Don't worry, it's it's temporary. Everything's temporary. Um, I got, I believe, like 60 bucks plus shipping for these two. Uh, and these are just like my old wedges. So I didn't buy these at a thrift store. Um, I just, they're from an old set of mine and I sold them. Probably they cost like 80 bucks new, um, but you know, they're going to a good home. Uh, the issue with, with ping, that dot there signifies how 
long the club is or the, the offset of the club and everything uh, and these are white dot plus one inch so you have to be like six four or taller to use these clubs then these uh four mary Kay bronzers is that what it is or maybe bronze is the color yeah bronze foundation i sold these for 20 bucks total and i paid two bucks for them and they're going to ship first class mail and then finally this big uh cap tell uh video camera with bluetooth and internet access i paid 15 bucks for this and it went for a bit less than i was hoping it sold for about 75 dollars um and it's going to cost probably 10 or 12 to ship because it's going across the country so still profitable but i'd say out of all of this that's the worst flip right there everything else is um i guess with the exception of, you know when i have books like this this is I'm, I'm only making four bucks on this but i just love selling books that i have like a childhood nostalgia for so it's going down to uh i'll just tell you it's going to flip the world they're friends of mine um great youtube channel chris is awesome stacy's awesome riley is awesome so uh that's that's the quote-unquote worst flip but you know in my heart the best flip monetarily wise at least and everything else here i you know definitely at least um made i think 40 bucks on with the exception again of the jewelry there that, I, that probably broke even because i bought that in a bulk lot uh but everything else good profits okay we're gonna close down the video now Thanks for watching. If you learned something, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys soon. I hope you make some money. And if you've made some money recently, let me know in the comments below what you've sold because I love learning from you.